She retired in 2006, dancing her final nutcracker to sold out audiences. But what her legion of fans didn't know was... I'm an alcoholic. 7-15-09. I got sober July 15th, 2009. That's when she was pulled over for speeding and discovered she had warrants. I went down to city jail. They went in my purse. They, ch they search everything. And I'd had some paraphernalia from the night before. And uh, city became county. And I was sitting on, on that cement. And I was like, how did I get here? A judge changed everything. Judge Regan, I'll never forget. Um, she looked at my name and she went, Lauren Anderson, that's my favorite ballerina. And my head was hung low. And I looked up at her and she went, I don't want to see you back in my courtroom ever again. One step out of line, you're going to be a felon. That was enough for me. There's so much shame and guilt. So much shame and guilt. I was uh, 44, had a six-year-old son, uh, a coke habit that I didn't know how I got there, trying to figure out what I'm going to drink before going to teach kids and going to pick up my own. It was a hole that I didn't know how to get out of. She started digging that hole in high school when she discovered alcohol. I didn't fit in. I wasn't pretty enough. I wasn't this enough. I wasn't enough. I just wasn't enough. And once I started drinking, I was plenty. I felt okay. I felt like I belonged. Anderson's career soared. In 1990, she was promoted, becoming one of the nation's first African-American principal dancers with a major company. She had her son, Lawrence, and while drinking and drugs had become a part of her life, she stopped while pregnant. The moment I'm done breastfeeding, I'm back like, right where I left off, but it's worse. It's almost as if I never stopped. And then it's just, it was just a spiral. I knew retirement was coming. My marriage was in trouble. It was a spiral down and it was bad and I, I mean I literally woke up every day going I'm not gonna do this anymore today's a, I'll be fine I'll go to class I won't do it anymore I mean I'm at work calling the dealer trying to figure out how I'm gonna get it before I so that by the time I get off work I'm drinking I'm sitting there waiting to see him it's been more than nine years since that arrest and she stayed sober <laughs> She goes to AA meetings every day, no matter where she is. Here we go. She also teaches young dancers through the ballet's education department and inner city kids who may never have seen a ballet. I get to do all these things I had no idea I could possibly do. So, you know, the gift is I get to be me. And she has a program called You Are Not Alone to help others like her. I couldn't believe it. I didn't think I'd be able to help anybody. I was too much of a mess. How am I going to help somebody else? Well, being there and having gone through it and understanding the pain and the guilt and the shame, I can help somebody else. So I can say, I know exactly where you are. I know exactly how you feel.